Jones, Indiana Jones, Indiana Jones. It's a podcast about Indiana Jones. Every movie, one minute at a time. Indiana Jones, Indiana Jones, minutes. Welcome back to the Indiana Jones Minute the daily podcast in which we get right to the heart of Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom one minute at a time. I'm Pete Mummert. I'm Tom Taylor. I'm Jerry Porter. And today we're joined one more time by the fingers of Hal Lublin and Mark (laughs) Gagliardi from the We Got This podcast. Thanks for coming back, guys. Thank you for having us back. Uh, This is an absolute treat. I wish I still had my fingers. (laughs) I wish I still had my rotator cuff. (laughs) Could you guys lend an ear, maybe? Yeah. <laughs> and today we are here to talk about Minute 38, which begins with Short Round asking Dr. Jones what he's looking at and ends with Indian Company walking in front of a fresco of a man riding an elephant. So at the very beginning here, like Indy sort of pulls his, his hand away from the vines and there's blood on it. And all I could think of was Poison's Fresh, Three Days. <laughs> like that's kind of the, that's the vibe of this right like whoever yeah. they they sacrificed this this morning right the fingers yeah, they cut the fingers yeah. off and they made and they sewed his finger necklace this morning yeah fresh fingers okay <laughs> all right only the yeah. freshest main fingers make it into our palace <laughs> <laughs> they don't look very uh, fresh though yeah those those <laughs> fingers uh, are Maybe it, maybe this this was a different thing that they did the fingers were already up there and they just use it for other stuff all day like it's a multi-purpose tool. <laughs> or the guy who they took the fingers from was super gross. And that's just what his fingers look like. I'd see, I would go with that because just the, whoever that petitioner <laughs> wasn't, didn't really did a good job <laughs> sacrificing to Kali. I mean, it's kind of like, meh. Let me take these fingers. They're kind of gnarled and knuckled up. Sure. <laughs> Any finger in a storm. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we started talking about this uh, last minute, but uh, Indy's uh, don't come up here. That's like, you know, it's it's a good... Uh, we, we've seen a lot of uh, protective dad stuff from Indy with Short Round in this movie so far, and this is a good one of those. Mm-hmm. Well, is it, it? does he tell Shorty not to come up there because he doesn't want him exposed to the gore? Or is it That's because... That's how I always read it, yeah. Yeah, but I thought maybe because he doesn't want him exposed to the bad juju. I think it could Doesn't be. Doesn't shield him from oh. something later on too? Like, I was trying uh, to remember that. Like, I think when he when he kills the guy with the fan. Not to spoil future oh. minutes, but I think he also covers his eyes then, which again oh, makes no sense because he just had the kid. <laughs> yeah. try, like he had the kid break the law. This right. kid seems yeah. he's not like making yeah. this kid's life better and safer. Yeah, he's like, no. while Indy was like shooting people to death out the back of the car. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's a colleague. It's not his son. Yeah. But see, sakes. we go back and forth on that all the time. And I always say, you know, Tom has a nine-year-old. And I'm always like, would you do that, Tom? You know, would you? Because he's his, yeah, he's his colleague. I thought him do colleague. donuts in the, in the driveway first or something. You know, get used to it. And then strap well, the boxes you, to his feet. You know? Would you shield him from the gore but <laughs> expose him to the bad juju? Um... <laughs> sure, he'd probably be he'd probably think that gore was kind of cool he'd be like wow fingers that's pretty crazy <laughs> <laughs> well also that presupposes that indy believes in the juju like, that's the, the thing d- yeah the presupposes well, that's what i, I was wondering though but he, he the way he says it he's very stern he's like don't come up here actually i liked your imitation tom oh thank <laughs> you <was very> <laughs> i can only do it once <laughs> and and I, that's what i wondered like you know we we say he's he's for the most part uh, Pete, you talked about this in Raiders. He went from like atheist to agnostic at the end of the movie, right? Yeah. And so right here, he is he is he starting to believe all this? You know, like he feels that there's a again a mystical or spiritual bad black magic component around this, or well, is he I'll, really just like fingers? <laughs> nah. <laughs> well, so far in the that. movie though, Willie's the skeptic. Like she's the one that did that whole magic rocks. So I, I like to think of it more like Indian Raiders decided to take on more of Willie's characteristics. Yeah, well, I don't but know. I think also, we think, <laughs> this is before which is what made it such a great Raiders movie, of the Lost Ark. So he should be an atheist going into it. It's not like this experience would 
make him go, oh, I don't know, after all this glowing rocks. And then it's <laughs> <laughs> true. Yeah. I think I'm a little bit more skeptical than I was going in. It's starting to seem like indie. <laughs> we were talking about this a little bit before, but like, you know, like he'll see glowing rocks later on. He'll see a guy get his heart ripped out. I think once he sees something, he might believe in that thing, but it doesn't necessarily open his mind up to like other spiritual possibilities like just because he's seen that doesn't mean he believes in the ark of the covenant or you know any of that if like, i see it see i'll believe thing. it yeah exactly yeah. Or he's I like yeah he's sheba just, didn't make this i think he's just the kind of guy who shouldn't be a parent because he has no sense of yeah. like he's the guy who'd be like it's not okay to stay out late now hold this dildo for me while i go into the show like, he just doesn't have a sense of what's appropriate or not appropriate for it. and you learn later on that he had a bad relationship with his own dad so why would he be a good parent yeah right yeah, yeah. right you're too little to drive a car so put yeah. this under your foot <laughs> where's my man don't look at that blood yeah <laughs> also don't they cheat each other playing cards yeah 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 they have a very odd relationship how did they, now how did short round and Indy meet short round picked his pocket on uh, the streets yeah, of shanghai yes. yeah. yeah he, he, he was, was orphaned uh, in the uh yeah. the bombing of 32 okay yeah, so they, so it, it was they're dick it's, tracy yeah. Oh, yeah it's dick tracy okay, and the yeah. kid yeah it is yeah both in fedoras <laughs> right. Both with the chiseled features. Yeah. yeah. And both kids wearing caps. Exactly. Yeah. Reminiscent of New York City. <laughs> That's from right. the 30s. Both streetwise. Yep. yep. Both Kate, Cap- Kate about- Capshaw or Madonna, you guys. Come on. <laughs> uh, depends on which era Madonna. Yeah, that's. Yeah. There you go. They both had 80s yeah, we- hair going on at one point. Yeah. Are we what talking? About- can we include Space Camp? Oh, I love Space Camp. <laughs> or Dreamscape. You're forgetting Tess Truhart. You're forgetting Glenn Headley. I love Glenn Oh, that's Glenn Headley. right. Glenn Headley Come was on. great. Glenn yeah, Headley That's wins. your real winner right there. Yeah. You th- she'd be okay with a bunch of bugs on her, I bet. <laughs> she'd be like, say, get all these bugs off me, see? And then they'd all just scatter yeah. away. Like, oh, this, this broad's tough. Then they run away. They'd skitter off. Um, can we point out that this is the saddest part of the entire movie this minute? Short round minutes ago was talking to the elephant, telling him how he's his best friend and they're gonna go to America together. And now he just get they get ripped apart and and, and Shorty's like reaching. He's like, oh, he's not saying anything, he's like reaching like come back. E. T. Oh my God. It's like, he doesn't, and he doesn't react much after that, but it's like you know that his heart has been broken. <laughs> he's never gonna be okay. Uh, I don't think the feeling's mutual though, because that elephant goes from completely yeah. laying down to completely yeah. standing up. In three seconds. Yeah. Someone say lunch? Okay. Yeah, you can yeah. almost hear yakety sacks underneath. Yeah. They're moving so fast to get away. And one of them even makes a sound like a car peeling out, like his, his trumpet sound. Even, and you see like dust flying out from behind him. Jeez. Although I, I definitely, I don't, I don't blame the Mahoots for taking off. Like, yeah. I mean, they had no. a rough job walking him all the way here. And uh, I mean, obviously Mahoot Local 357 doesn't say you guys got to deal with evil statues, too. Right. No, no. Maybe it's five o'clock. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. That's, oh, that's, what, that's, that's what the bird was for on the statue. Yeah. <laughs> Another Flintstones yeah. animal with a job. Yeah. yeah. The big wing is on the two and the little wing. Is oh, on guys, the five. work's over for the day. Great. <laughs> Oh, yeah, you guys see it's the like, Falcons. <laughs> well, see, I wondered was that maybe he's like we walk. Indy says we walk from here, and you're like, well, maybe that's exactly where the Mahoots had planned to take him anyway. It's like we'll take him to that shoddy little altar, you know the one I mean, <laughs> yeah. you know, and then drop him off. <laughs> We'll maybe that to, was the deal. I don't know. Yeah. We'll take him to Finger Necklace Cove where the teenagers <laughs> make out. We'll leave him there. <laughs> And then they can just walk. It's fine. Do you know how hard it is to back an elephant down a hill? It's very <laughs> narrow, those pathways. We, we can't do it. I just got this undershirt. I don't want to ruin it. <laughs> do you guys, how Willie's um, cl- I'm oh, sorry, go ahead. Go no, you go ahead. I was going to say, how come Willie's clothes are so white? That's a really good question. Because she's been in the she water. Just, she's been she in just the washed them. She just washed them. That's what she was doing oh, at the campsite. Oh, that's right. She yeah, can just wash up everything. But still... <laughs> Look at Come all that on. dust flying from those elephants. <laughs> yeah. 
Hashtag close so white. I hate you for knowing that, Pete. <laughs> <laughs> well, we also, Do you guys... Our second, oh, the next movie is, is filled with ads for cleaning products, too. This is a whole yeah. set of oh, movies right, about right. things yeah. being really that's clean. True. We had Rinso <laughs> and... Yeah. What was the other one? <laughs> Sparkle Bright? No, what was it? It was like... I forget. Oh, what was it? I just remember Rinso. Rinso. It was at Omar's yeah. Garage. We did Raiders one minute at a time. That was insane. <laughs> <laughs> Has it just dawned on you what you've been doing? <laughs> oh, yeah, a little bit. <laughs> kind of, there's a catastrophe ahead. <laughs> there's a catastrophe right on top of me. <laughs> do, do any of you guys feel that that bat shot is right out of the Wizard of Oz? Oh, well, we determined it's right out of Bridge Over the River Kwai. Yeah, yeah, I know, but it did, like maybe it was no, when it they is, did though. Bridge. A, yeah, well, it's yeah. that sort of flying. Right. Yeah, it totally is actually. And they're flying, flying like right before they enter the palace. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, and I'm I'm thinking the bats are in on it. They're in on it. They drank the blood of Kali and they're drunk. Are the bats Maybe. going into? It looks like they're all going the same direction. Like the bats want to play too. Uh, yeah, they know they know where their bread is buttered. <laughs> uh, oh, they're all. They're just gonna drain the three of them completely. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Maybe. you guys will be dead soon. <laughs> Look at the necks on them. <laughs> Maybe they alerted the uh, the palace that these uh, guys were coming on elephants, and then they put that all the fingers and ears and everything to freak them out. Like maybe that's why the blood is still fresh. <laughs> Are they fake? Is it like no a, like a haunted like put your put your hands in this bowl of witch's hair and then it's just spaghetti <laughs> and then <laughs> eyeballs. Yeah, eyeballs. <laughs> I don't know how they're still in the air because if you look at those minutes, they're flying so slowly. Yeah, <laughs> it's like in slow motion. <laughs> I don't know what that is. It's like all the scenes with the bats, a lot of them seem like they were slowed down or it's slow motion or something. And it was the way those might things be. are still up. It would be nice to air. have them talking and then just hear a gigantic series of splashes in the background. I can make it back to the cave, but I was going too slow. I didn't want to. Uh, <laughs> it was crazy. They're even in the background behind Indy, like when he's looking yeah. at the statue and stuff. It's not yeah. just those insert yeah. shots. Yeah, that's nuts. Yeah, there. Well, I think that uh, when I don't know what the next minute holds, but I think when Indy turns this corner, that's where all the bats have flown and turned into their Dracula form. So it's just an <laughs> okay, army yeah. of Draculas. <laughs> it's just a bunch of bats in a trench coat. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> Pay no attention. Can we get into this movie? I know it's rated R. <laughs> I just Sri Lanka is just filled like you've got the guys dressed up like an elephant, you've got the bats dressed up, dressed up like Dracula. I'm curious what yeah, else we the got. whole thing going. Yeah. <laughs> just one big furry cosplay party. Constant. <laughs> I, like I said, I don't know what's happening after he turns the corner at the end of the minute. That may be what's in this palace. Yeah, More bats. Just, yeah, it's just a bunch of bats. Jesus, it's just bats everywhere. <laughs> On my what? wedding day at the palace, it's very important that we release nine million bats. <laughs> As it's I want romantic. it to be a scene, <laughs> I want you to put on the cure, and we're going to release nine million bats into the sky, <laughs> but slow ones so everybody can see <laughs> them. I'm tired of fast bats. <laughs> They're going to go up in the middle of the day and then immediately fall asleep. Yeah, I'm sick of these fast bats. What is it? A race? <laughs> well, what, what do you what do you think that? TripAdvisor review of Pancot Palaces. Because, I mean, it looks really, it looks delightful. Yeah. It looks, because yeah, they pull yeah. up, it's really clean, it's, 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 it's got a great location, you know, all the foliage around it is this lush, verdant green. A lot of bats. Seems- Willie, when yeah, they first yeah. get there, like, Willie's the one showing respect, like, she's wiping off her shoes. Right. Oh, Yeah. Oh, yeah. The spacious, recently remodeled rooms nestled in a black magic spiritual vortex. <laughs> <laughs> Savory yeah. local cuisine. My only hesitation on leaving five stars is the mountain of back guano in front lobby. Yeah. <laughs> I'm looking at a, at a TripAdvisor review right now. It says uh, cleanliness two dots, um, attentiveness of staff three dots. And then for amount of bats, it actually has, I know there are only five dots. But there are just 20 dots <laughs> in a That's row impressive. up and down. So really, How many dots does it have for accessibility? 
uh, you know, there is a giant ramp, so it gets five dots for that. Bring your own if you elephant. notice, it's very there's. If you have a wheelchair, you can get on the mine tracks. There you go. <laughs> and go real fast there. Everything does seem to be pretty wheelchair accessible. At Pentecost well, Palace. I mean, it's it's they show up in the middle of the day, and it's. I mean, it looks pretty. It looks delightful. Yeah, it does, yeah. but it's weirdly yeah. deserted. It's like yeah. I, I've always been like a little weirded out. Like we know that we see later that the palace is like full of people <coughs> and there's parties going on and stuff and there's I don't know dignitaries and stuff, but there's nobody out here except for some guards, and it seems sort of a uh, weirdly empty and lonesome. <laughs> it's like one of those restaurants where it just looks like an unassuming door and then you walk through it and you're like, I'm in paradise. I didn't expect hey. this. And outside was so calm. <laughs> inside it's a bustling metropolis of food. <laughs> that shot at the end actually reminded me of that famous Dorothy Lang photo where you, there are those two guys walking, like those hobos walking down the road during the Great Depression. And there's that billboard next to him that says, next time try the train, relax. And this one, they're all walking up after they just oh lost gosh. their elephant. And there's that elephant on the wall behind him. And there's a guy yeah. riding it and relaxing. Oh, my God. That's incredible. Uh, Bernie's elephant carpets. Hey, does your elephant have a carpet over it? Nope. Better get one from Bernie. He's the only guy who sells them. That's I hysterical. actually got one note from this minute from my sister, Professor Christy Porter. And it oh, just says, the elephant on the wall was most cheerful. Like a mural in a pediatric dentist's office. <laughs> <laughs> Kids like elephants. Well, meanwhile, it's breaking Shorty's heart again. He just got over oh. being ripped from his yeah. best friend. <laughs> oh, elephant. He's about to Thanks. turn that corner. And, yeah. yeah. It's, re- it's really strange, though. I mean, as, as we've been talking along uh, about <laughs> Temple of Doom and how clunky it can be at times, it's kind of like, why is there just a picture of an elephant there? Like, oh, yeah, they're in India. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, don't forget. Like just, or do you think they're like, hey, that's a great looking elephant mural. We got to figure out a way to shoehorn this into the scene. Well, I'm not even sure. Was this an actual location? No, this was that they used, this was or? Elstree. This was on the back lot at Elstree. Oh, but, so they built all of this. Yeah, but the place where they wanted to film it uh, in Rajasthan, there's a place called Jaipur where there's a giant kind of fortress on the hill that looks a lot like this, and India wouldn't let them film there. But it's famous for elephant frescoes on the walls. Oh, okay. So I think maybe really? they took. Yeah, I think they took a lot of design factors from there. Yeah, they were huh. like, "Bring us the fanciest elephant fresco that there is, like an <laughs> elephant in all its finery, and let's just put that on." Like that's where the elephants are supposed to be parked when you bring them. Yeah, the there's no reason. Yeah. There's rounding he's, a quarter. He's, he's kind of setting unrealistic expectations for tusk size. <laughs> <That's true>. oh. <laughs> they're all stunted now and their expectations and that elephant is moving too that elephant looks like it is running yeah 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 running away <laughs> yeah, yeah is that, that, guy th- probably, that guy probably thinks he's his best friend too on top <laughs> oh. yeah. you're my best friend <laughs> we'll be together forever <laughs> I just imagine short round turning on the radio like I gotta forget this elephant. <laughs> Coming up next, Henry Mancini's Baby Elephant Walk. We're gonna play the Baby Elephant Walk, a power block, twenty minutes solid, just to help you think about elephants. And now the 1935 Republican National Convention. <laughs> uh, now we're going to uh, describe over the next half hour the Oakland A's logo: <laughs> an elephant balancing on a baseball. Brought to you by Strapping. Barnum and Bailey's Circus. <laughs> Why did that guy with elephantiasis just walk by? <laughs> Where is this going? <laughs> Wherever that elephant's going, it's going yeah, to the same right. place. And it's He's going fast. Right. And the statue on the left, the carving into the wall... Mm-hmm. Looks like the woman on it is going, hey, great elephant. Like she's pointing to the <laughs> elephant. So everything here is supposed to draw your eye to that elephant drawing. Yeah. I like they are just trying to torture Shorty. That's so sad. What statue of a woman are you talking about? Do I have it? A- on the top left, there's a, okay. a woman on, on a beast as they're walking <laughs> through to the left, right by the column. Yeah, and like- she's got her hand out. Like, she's going, I, I mean, look at this elephant. This is a primo <laughs> elephant. It's got a great hat on. It's wearing at least three rugs. You can see three, four people on that elephant. Oh, and like the guy on the left. Yeah, yeah, she's like a, like, a wall oh, okay. relief. 
Wow. Yeah, and the guy has his hand. The guy in the elephant's like, I know. Look at this elephant. I'm sitting on it and I can't believe it. This is my elephant. Every day I pinch myself. Well, actually, okay. I think he's got his iPhone out. Like, he's looking up elephants on his phone. <laughs> yeah. he's Look, I've got Snapchat. two seats behind me. Do you want to take one of these seats behind me? One of them's a little smaller. Oh, yeah, he's an Uber driver. He's actually yeah. on his way yeah. to find his next person. Which of these cords do you need? I have candy back there, too. <laughs> do you want the smallest possible bottle of water on the planet? <laughs> there really are a lot of elephants in these minutes, aren't there? No there really more. are. Yeah, not anymore. <laughs> Elephants, bats, fingers. Yep. yep. Congratulations, fellas. <laughs> yeah, those are the minutes you got. <laughs> Elephants, bats, fingers. Yeah, we really, we really couldn't have been lottery. happier. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Anybody have any other body parts or uh, large animals they want to talk about? I would like to point out, Indy is the only one not carrying his luggage at the end. Hey, yeah. Yeah, we've been That's noticing bum. that. Quite a ways. Like he's he's always got somebody else carrying his stuff. Yeah, like sh- that's that's ready. his suitcase that Shorty's carrying, and Willie's yeah. got oh, really? all of his clothes on. Yeah, and he doesn't have his whip his... on him. Presumably, it's in the bag. And I think oh, this is his stunt double. <laughs> <laughs> it's just it's, do they did, did 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 Harrison Ford have just like a long shot guy? Like I'm not walking up that ramp, man. <laughs> <laughs> you don't need me. I'm not willing I to can't, do it. I can't actually see the castle, so. <laughs> Although, if, yeah, you, if, you ever look up, if you ever look at a picture of his stunt double, Vic Armstrong, like mm-hmm. he, there's there are a couple pictures where you can't tell him apart. Wow, like, he really? Was almost a perfect double, yeah. So that it easily could have been. He's fun at parties. <laughs> <laughs> well, if uh, people are looking for maybe some more non-elephant related material, but they like the cut of your jib. Uh, Hal and Mark, where else could they find you? Uh, They can find us on our podcast. We got this with Mark and Hal, where we settle uh, the really important debates in life that nobody else cares about, like uh, Star Wars versus Star Trek, things you argue with your friends about. And now coming soon, elephants or bats that we're going to have to do that. (laughs) So Obviously it's a very important debate and that's uh, comes out weekly on Tuesday nights at 9 PM Pacific time on the Maximum Fun Network or wherever odds are cast. Yeah, definitely check it out. I'm a fan. And uh, Tom, if people want to find more of us, uh, if maybe they want to see a pull, elephants or bats, where might they do that? <laughs> they could do that at the uh, Indiana Jones Minute and the Listener's Crusade on uh, Facebook. That's our group. And uh, you can check us out there. You can check us out on Twitter. Uh, and our regular uh, web page is indianajonesminute.com. And if you didn't remember any of that, and you do remember to find your podcast tomorrow where you found it today, you can join us again for Minute 39 of Indiana Jones Minute. Don't come up here. <laughs> My best friend. <laughs> that back. actually made me sad. Oh. I didn't think about that. That is a really sad minute. <laughs> Couldn't even get to name him. <laughs> <laughs>